As our next story makes clear, there isn't much in South Africa that isn't for sale. So it was probably inevitable that our prowess at beating the system would be used to make a quick buck from fraudulent vaccine certificates. But as McFarlane discovered, there are petty scams and then there are operations like the one our investigation uncovers that look dangerously legitimate. After COVID-19 brought the world to a standstill, global vaccine rollouts got the world moving again and a vaccination would become essential for work and play. Inevitably, some attempted to cheat the system. First, people tried to jump the queue to get a COVID jab. But now, wait for it. They're cheating to avoid one altogether. Yes, you didn't mishear me. People are sidestepping the system to avoid vaccination. Globally, dodgy vaccination certificates are in demand. From medical staff caught in Italy emptying out vaccine vials to illicit suppliers on the dark web. And it's no different in South Africa. Where there's a will, there's a way, and money talks, especially when it comes to breaking the law. It's not just about getting a fake certificate. It's about looking legit on government system, as one anti-vaxxer told us. Have you been vaccinated? On the system, yes. In my arm, no. This man paid 2,500 Rand to get registered as vaccinated on the South African government portal without ever getting a jab. It wasn't easy. It took some weeks to find someone that was willing to assist. Well, to cheat the system, right? Well, I call it assisting. Do you care in any way that you've broken the law? I don't have um, regrets for breaking an unjust law. It's like life was closing down for you if you hadn't been injected. With global vaccination pressure mounting and some still refusing to give in, the black market for illicit vaccination certificates is growing. As far as anyone can tell, this is a valid uh, vaccination. Warren Lamont is a private investigator. This is the, this is it's not as prevalent, but it, it is readily available if you have the contact, if you know where to go. It was an actual Our viewers have an ear to the ground. Some of you have sent in tip-offs, pointing us in the direction of the suspected vaccination fraudsters. But the trick is catching them with irrefutable proof. We followed the leads and made contact with the fraudulent service providers. Prices range from 1,500 Rand to 6,000 Rand. This interaction is with a guy that goes by J-Man. I don't actually want the vaccine, you know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. But I do want to travel. Even a lot of people have traveled already. Most wanted money transferred via digital platforms, making it difficult to trace. Are all black market certificates equal? Not at all. You would probably say a good 80 to 90% of them are fake and bogus, whereas it's not even worth the paper it's written on. And therefore, by buying it, you've been scammed. From the get-go, we need to be clear. We're talking fraudulently obtained vaccination certificates, not fakes. The key difference is that these QR codes are real. They appear legitimately on the government portal. One of these alleged fraudsters is Rondre Bester from Pretoria North, claiming he can get you vaxxed without a jab. He was revealed to us by a source. He sends his personal banking details. He definitely is a hustler. Um, he wheels and deals. Bester's sales pitch includes this screen recording showing the vaccination will be registered on the government's official platform. In voice notes, the source confirmed there would be no actual injection. You have to get the vaccine. You have to get it approved. My chum, uh, it's a lot of stock, so, um, yeah, vaccine, yeah, you said that boy, no, you said. The source paid 2,500 Rand into Jay Bester's Capitec account, and the deal was done. The certificate that he made for you, is it legit? Yeah, definitely. It has a QR code and everything from the government's portal. Uh, the only thing that's happening here is that the person's not getting the jab, but the whole process is followed. They capture all your details, they load it on the system, and then Bob's your uncle, you're done. You, you've been vaccinated. We wanted to test Bester services and contacted him independently. Whether it's Johnson or Pfizer, is it Dyson uh, Five, or should it Booster Five, is it 2005? Ah, that is the only 100% legit. The only one legit. The Booster Five inside. 
The money was transferred and the plant was listed as vaccinated within a couple of hours, without meeting a vaccinator and without getting a jab. In both cases, a government SMS was sent confirming vaccination, and in both cases, legitimate QR codes were generated. It seems there's not much that isn't for sale in South Africa. It was time to pay Jean-Dre Bester a visit. It's McFarlane from Carte Blanche. I've just got a couple of questions for you. After initially stalling, Jean-Dre, he came to the gate, quite defensively and determined to avoid the cameras. Listen, With buddy. no right to have me on camera footage at all, man. You are in trouble. I'm in trouble for what? Come answer. You are going onto a government portal, giving people vaccination certificates. I'm not on a government portal. My parents do vaccinations. They do vaccinations with the pharmacy. So whose account is Jay Besta? That's my account. Saying my John, it's illegal what you're doing. What are you saying? You are selling vaccine certificates. We have proof that I sell vaccine certificates. Yes, we have it. Give me the and proof. we've got your voice notes. Give me the proof. And we've got Give your bank proof. details. My bank account, yes, for the annual Christmas project donation, for the donations. And yes. your Christmas, in January, you already start collecting. We get it straight throughout the year, my friend. But that's exactly the code word Besta tells his dodgy certificate clients to use. Who can I give it to? Who's the one? EFT, my reference your norm and the nation, plus the nation. We played him some of the voice clips. Yeah, no, listen to how that guy sounds. Oh, really? Yeah, <laughs> we decided to give him the benefit of the doubt and call the number we had for Jean-Dre Besta. As we dialed, we discovered that it's the same number used by J-Man, the guy we contacted at the start of our investigation. Hello? Too much speaking? You're speaking to McFarlane, Jean-Dre? Uh, Miss McFarlane? John Dre, it's uh, the guy standing outside your gate. This is the same number yeah, for the vaccines. Away, man. So uh, I'll remove my property. You guys don't want to listen, eh? Oh, but this voice sounds quite familiar, John Dre. You said this yeah, is not your number. Familiar. I'm happy. I'm happy. All right, cool. Bye. <laughs> oh, John Dre. <laughs> Both the vaccinations done via John Dre Besta were linked to the Pharma Value Pharmacy in Queenswood, Pretoria. It appears the fraudulent registrations were done under the pharmacy's permit. That's a very serious problem. From Pharmacy Council, we do not uh, tolerate that. Mojo Mokwena is from the South African Pharmacy Council, responsible for regulating the industry. It is the first time this kind of fraud has been exposed. There are professional conduct uh, committees that will deal with this kind of unacceptable behaviour. We headed to the pharmacy with the council. Hi, how are you? Lekka, my name is McFarlane Milady from Carte Blanche. Um, I'd like to speak to the manager or someone the, um, that's in charge, the owner. Are they available? We walked up and down, round and round, looking for someone to speak to us while the inspection got underway. Well, everybody's running around trying to find out who knows what's going on here. They don't know whether it's the manager, it's the prescription side. The owner is Hannes Stradom, a former Springbok rugby player and pharmacist. We called him with the allegations. I've got them with me. I've shown your manager, and you can see the, the SMS says Pharma Value Queenswood. That's where the person got the certificate. Yes, and what's the certificate? They have never been vaccinated before. No, how do they know? How do you know they've never been vaccinated? How can we vaccinate people without them vaccinating? Our investigation revealed that one of the test cases was loaded on the government system by Elise Bester. Lo and behold, Jean de Bester's mother, and the second by his brother Zander Lobscher, both linked to Bestcare Emergency Medical Services that offer a mobile vaccination service in association with the pharmacy. Although Pharma Value Queenswood states, we were not involved in their vaccination process, they collect vaccines from us and offer their own mobile clinic service to patients. However, the Pharmacy Council confirmed that Bestcare is not registered as a mobile vaccination clinic in its own capacity. The people that are administering those vaccinations, whose responsibility are they? From our side, we will still hold the pharmacists accountable because they are the ones that took the stock and gave it to the next person. The permit is issued to the facility. The permit condition, it says that the facility is accountable and responsible to ensure that they comply with all the regulation, the guidelines, the policies from the Department of Health. 
Farmer Valley Queenswood replied to us on that point saying, the statement is ludicrous. No fraudulent vaccination registrations detected ever. They had successfully vaccinated 22,000 patients and their processes are followed with integrity. The pharmacy maintained that the carte blanche test cases don't show any discrepancies. But that's the point. These certificates aren't fake. They are illegitimately obtained and fraudulent, even though they appear correctly on the system. The pharmacy also states it has no association with Jean de Besta and that the process and system is foolproof. It appears Bestcare has some explaining to do. Let's find out what they have to say. And it looks like the whole family is here. jean Dre and even Elise Bester are here. But no one answered until a food delivery arrived. What must happen? Food will get cold. None of them are here. But they've all parked their cars here. I think maybe they went out with their bikes. We tried calling Elise Bester, but the call diverted to a staff member. But I don't know where I, I can't track her, so I don't know where she is, and she's not answering. Best Care sent written responses. They acknowledged that there is room for fraudulent activities, possibly carried out by individuals, as a number of locum staff had access to vaccinator login details. Elise Bester confirmed that Jean Dre, who she called a problem child, worked for their mobile vaccination service and had access to details. But he was let go due to a dereliction of duties. Both Elise Bester and Zander Lobscher denied any direct involvement with the fraudulent certificates stating that best care upholds high standards. The impact of these dodgy certificates could be far-reaching and have a crippling effect on the economy. Should the country end up on another red list for this? It's not about that piece of paper. It's about our health. It's not about your own health. It's about the health of the public. Would you do it again? Yeah, most definitely. And I believe that I took the choice and I made the decision when the world went ballistic over Omicron. They put us in a position where we can't conduct our lives. Is it criminal? It is very much illegal. It's actually an unethical practice. While the authorities' investigation continues, the outcomes could be harsh for both the fraudsters and the pharmacy, with permits and registrations on the line. Thank you for watching our stories here online and please subscribe below to become part of our YouTube community and be notified when we upload our latest content.